YBN Almighty J and Rich the Kid are having a fake beef. Offset steps up for Rich the Kid. I'm going to say this. Rich the Kid has a great marketing team for his album that's to be released within about, uh, I think it gets released this week, tomorrow. I think it gets released today or tomorrow. Anyways, let's get into this. This is uh, Jordan Tao with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. Check the link below. Product of the week are these new earbuds. They're under $40. They do everything the Apple ones do, but they're a lot cheaper. $100. And if you want to run ads on the channel, Jordan Tower Media at gmail.com. We're talking about Rich the Kid today. He has a great marketing team because YBN Almighty J was just up to, at Big Boys Radio with him. Um, he was just in the clip where Rich the Kid's talking about Black China. Uh, she has bad, bad head game. And then uh, also, YBN Almighty J's dating Black China. So he had a fake beef with Rich the Kid yesterday saying, oh, I'm pulling up. Uh, drop your address. And then he said, oh, he gave me the address to a shopping mall. Obviously, it's fake, guys. And also, uh, conveniently, Rich the Kid's wife, I'll put that in quotations, is saying that he is cheating on her with Black China, India, Love, and some other girls. It's all great strategic marketing uh, that is, you know, getting people talking about Rich the Kid, getting him posted on the blogs, bringing more attention to Plug Walk and the Kendrick Lamar song that he has out, which are doing great. I like him. Rich the Kid, you know what I like about Rich the Kid? He actually has a foundation. A lot of these rappers like, you know, Little Skies and everybody, just they're dropping literally from the sky, okay? The labels are making these guys like, you know, Takashi 6 9 and they got, you know, the trippy reds. There's not that much groundwork. A few months, Rich the Kid, I've seen him grinding for years, years. You see the growth. I'm, I'm believing a Rich the Kid more than any of these other kids. Um, I hope he does well on his album. It drops today or tomorrow, guys. Make sure you guys check that out. This is a fake beef. It's obviously done through a marketing team that knows how to get people talking and everything. I mean, you see Cardi B pretending to have a baby now because she has her album coming out soon and all this other stuff. Like, it's always a marketing scheme. Look what happened with The Breakfast Club and Deezus and Mero. They're both represented by the same company down the line. I don't think it's directly our heart media. I think it's something else. But, you know, they're, they're gaining a lot of subscribers and everything by people talking about them. More people tune in. They make more money. Okay, that's what's going on. Okay, so it's just a bunch of fake strategic marketing that's going on. But, you know, salute to Rich the Kid. Uh, and anyways, guys, let's... Uh, I'm going to play the clips. Let me know what you guys think. Peace. The pussy was worth the time. Nigga sending me an address to a motherfucking... Look at this. Nigga sent me an address to a shopping mall. Man, this nigga's a hoe. This lame-ass nigga, man... Man, this nigga rich is a hoe. He's scared. He don't want to fight, bro. Scary ass nigga, bro. Don't don't ever play with me, nigga. Don't ever play with me like you tough, bro. You you was a bitch. You're not tough, nigga. Don't ever play with me, nigga. Don't ever disrespect me, nigga. You're not tough, nigga. I pull up to address. Nigga sent me to a fucking shopping mall. This nigga rich don't want to fight, bro. All that shit, all that tough shit. Remember, I know you, bro. I know you, bro. I remember. I was there when Cardi was finna beat your ass, nigga. I know you, bro. I know you, bro. Don't play with me, bro. Don't play with me, bro. You you don't you don't want to get into that, bro. You don't want to get into that, bro. And you know that, bro. You don't want to get into that. Take all that all that shit, funny games, bro. You don't want to get in that. Don't ever disrespect me, nigga. Ever, ever. This shit right in the hole, bro. Hey, no, nah, for real. Hey, don't let these rapper niggas bring y'all niggas out of character, bruh. I'm trying to tell you right now. Don't let these rapper niggas, don't let these industry niggas bring y'all niggas out of character, bruh. On my mama, don't let these industry niggas bring y'all out of character, bro. Check the link below. Product of the week are these new earbuds. They're under $40. They do everything the Apple ones do, but they're a lot cheaper. $100.